Hey everyone, I've got something super awesome to show you today. I've been wanting to build this for a really long time. It is the 4D Vision Velociraptor Anatomy Model from 4D Master. This is kind of what it's going to look like on one side when it's finished. You can see all the bones and the organs and stuff inside and the muscles. But on the other side, it looks like a normal dinosaur with skin and coloring and stripes and all that. Even got a little bit of quill-like feathers, maybe proto-feathers or something. Uh, you can see some of the pieces in this clear window on the front of the box. And you can hear a motorcycle. Let's see, on the side it looks like that. On the top it looks like that with the other side. And the bottom has a little bit of information. Got some stuff right there. And some made in China stuff right there. And that. And this and the barcode. This is made in 2009. So you're not likely to find it in a regular store that only sells new things. Uh, it's best to look for it online or in a more of a collectible store. Alright, here's the back. It's got lots of photos. It's got uh, some of the names of the pieces right here. The, of the, the parts of the body. So you have a little science lesson in anatomy. And it's got some close-up photos here. And this already comes painted, so you don't have to be an expert painter to make this look good. It just automatically looks like that when you put it together. Velociraptor! The name Velociraptor, commonly shortened to raptor, means speedy thief. When, which is one of the best known dinosaurs since its appearance in the movie seen by 1993. And here's some other stuff you can read. Let me just get to opening the box because I want to put this together. Alright. Looks like we got some tape. I'm going to cut that open. And on this side. Sorry. Here we go. And is it going to come open? Yes, here we go. And there's something weird on the inside. Some little words. I'm going to get this out of the box. Alright, the box is empty. And we have this tray with all the pieces on it. And we also have, uh, it looks like a base. Let's see. It's taped to the inside. Let me get that untaped. Oh, there's an instruction booklet. All right, let me get this out of the way. Put that there for a second. Okay. Velociraptor. Collectible quality. So there's a website you can go to. And let's take a quick look at this. Got some nice pictures. I don't know if you can read that if you pause it. You might be able to. Okay, here are the instructions. This doesn't seem too complicated. Not too many parts. But it should look good when you're done. Oh, here's some nice graphics. Comparing it to a modern day bird. And here's a little bit of a family tree. Right there. And some more skeletal structures. Uh, we got how do wings work? How do they evolve? Um, some stuff about skeleton, skull, forelimbs, muscles, and tail. And uh, eyes, liver, heart, ovary, lung, stomach, air sacs, intestines. And guess what? Oh, here's some questions. Um, it's a lot of stuff to read, so you can just pause it if you want a question and answer session for yourself or your friends. You can just read it like that. And here's something about the professor that is helping with this model. There he is. There's his information. Alright, here is the plastic base. Hollow on the bottom. Got a nice label. I'll be using that when it's done. Look. 
Okay, let's check out the pieces. Here is the main piece. Let's take a closer look. You can see the uh, some of the bones, and there's a piece of plastic. Let's see. Let's use some scissors to cut that off. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this off or not. Oh, it does come off. Okay, this is separate. That comes off. And this seems to come off, but... Yeah, there we go. So you can see in there. I'll put that back for now. Just so we don't lose it. Okay. And down here we got some more spaces for organs. And a very long tail. Seems to be a separate piece in here also. Okay, I think some pieces are going to get shot all over the place here if I do this. Okay, they're just going to have to drop. I'm sorry about that. They're just going to have to come out. But this uh, apparently is a separate piece. Okay, so we got that. And we got this. So you don't want to look at either of those sides. Here is the outside. The uh, little quill-like feathers have come off. Here's the skin on the outer side of the Velociraptor. And uh, there's this piece once again, which looks pretty much the same as it did when it was inside the skin. So let's just put that back. Okay, so far I haven't actually read the instructions. I just kind of glanced at them. So let me put that aside. Let's see, this, uh, the feather part was separate. Here's the rib cage. And the uh, backbone piece. Okay, here is a leg. More plastic. I guess the plastic holds another piece on, so maybe these bones come out. Let's cut that open. Okay, does this come out? Yes, I think it does. It feels loose. And I think this is one solid piece. There we go. We have Velociraptor leg bones, and there's the muscles. Let's see. This comes off, just on a peg. Goes back on. Nice claw there. Okay. Next we have some other pieces. Uh, I'm guessing that's a brain. Not looking at the labels or anything. Okay, let me actually read the parts. Okay, where was that part with all the names? No, oh, no, this is the intestines. Okay, intestines. Here is the lungs. Very nice. Here's one of the arms. Really cool claws. Not too sharp, but they look good. Nice paint. This guy's got a couple of pegs right here. Okay, here we have a liver. A part of a liver. Got some paint on the inside. Here is the other leg. It's got the same nice sculpting. That one's hollow. I don't think it comes apart. I don't think it's supposed to come apart. Here's some stripes. Here's a piece of skin. No muscle or anything. Just skin. Here is some type of hip bone, I think. Let's see. Doesn't really say what it is. Looks like maybe the pelvic area. I'm not sure.
here is the outer clear casing, the clear skin for one side so you could see all the parts. Very nice, very clear, very shiny. And you can still see some of the details of the shape of the dinosaur. Okay, we have a few more pieces. Let's see if I can get them out. This seems to be a stomach, pretty decent size. Could fit a good amount of meat in there. And we have the other arm. Same nice claws. There's a little bit of a bone sticking out. Does that come out? Yes, it does. Goes right back in there. Okay, and let's see. Here is the skull with an eyeball, teeth, a little bit of muscles on the inside. And it's not finished on this side because you're only supposed to look at it from this direction. Comes apart with a peg. Okay. Here is the tongue that would go in the mouth, of course, with a peg hole. And then we have two tiny little pieces of tape. Here we have, oops, here we have the kidneys, right here, and uh, the aorta, and here is the ovary. So I guess this is a female model raptor. Okay, let's get all this stuff a little bit organized. I'll be right back and I'll put this together. All right, I've got everything kind of spread out here and I've got my dinosaur body, my main parts. So first of all, I think I would like to put back these little feathery bits into the head. I've got this spread open a little bit and these kind of go right in there. There's two pegs, two square pegs. And hopefully that will stay. All right. Now, the instructions aren't super clear as to what order to put things in, but I will just kind of be guessing. All right, I think first they want these two little bits right here, maybe. Okay, so this one has a round peg, which goes in there. And this one, not quite sure how this one goes. I've kind of tried to mess with this a little bit. And I know it goes in this area. They kind of have it at this angle, but I don't know how to make it stay. I know this connects to the heart somewhere, but not a clear idea where. So I'm just going to kind of put it... Uh, see, there's nowhere really to make it stay. I don't know, am I missing something? There's no pegs. There's no clear shape as to where to make it stay. So I'm just going to hold it there for a second. Okay, they also want the stomach and the liver. They want the liver to go like this and the stomach kind of like that. All right, so there's a hole there which connects to the hole in this intestines right there. See that hole? And this goes there. See the nice, there's a nice hole right there. Let's move it out of the way. Okay, so that connects to there, like so. And then this part connects to there. Okay, let's put this back on top. I think it just kind of sits there, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how to make this part stay. I'm sorry. Okay, then we need, let's see. How about some neck vertebrae, maybe? 
Looks like there's a couple pegs there. And let's see, is there any other organs? Yes, we need this lungs. Maybe, does the lungs have anywhere to put that kidney? I don't think so, no. So I'm just going to place it right here. It doesn't have an exact place to sit either, kind of like the kidneys, just kind of goes right there. Okay. Yeah, really, I'm, there's no, like, where is it? Um, so here's the kidney just kind of, they point to the, the part coming off the heart, but there's really nothing to keep it there. And then lungs, where is the lungs? Um, they don't even really say. All right, so. So this should be kind of touching there a little bit. Oh, it kind of, it kind of just barely sits right there. Okay. And then this kind of fits right there. Just, it doesn't really want to stay. You just have to hold it. Okay. So I, I think I'm going to use this to hold everything together. Oh wait, first we need the other part of the backbone. Which goes like this. And that has some holes for the ribs. Square pegs on the ribs. Okay. Let's see if I can get this together. Alright, the rib cage seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping the lungs on there. I don't know if it's all the way on, but I hope so. The kidneys are staying. Okay, what else do we have? We have this. Do they set the, are they telling me to put this on? No, let's see. Let's turn the page. Not quite sure. Let's put it on anyways. Okay, we got the hole there. And let's see, where does this go? How am I going to put this on? Oh, here's the hole right there. There it is. So that peg goes into that hole. I think. Kind of doesn't want to go. There's another peg right here. Is there a hole? Okay, good. It's fitting. It's staying. Okay, looking around. It looks like we mostly have arms and legs and a little piece of skin. So, how about we put the head together? Oh, let's put the tongue in too. Here's the bottom jaw. That fits in pretty good. And the top goes right on there. Okay, how does this fit in? We've got two long pegs. And so this is all removable. Anytime you want, you can just take this guy apart. Or girl, it's actually a girl. You can take her apart and put her back together to study the pieces. This would be a good science project. Okay, so this, let's put to the side of the dinosaur together. We have this arm, and this leg, okay, here we got most of a dinosaur on that side, okay, and then we flip it over. Now, I wonder where this last piece of skin goes. Is this the stomach? Should I be putting this on first? I think yes. Doesn't really tell you when. But let's see if I can get it to fit. It's fitting kind of good, but it's a little bit temperamental. I'll try to make it fit the best I can. Okay, now the leg is kind of coming apart again. Alright, 
I think I've done it. It's fixed perfectly. So then we have the clear part, which gives you the nice shape of, di of di the dinosaur, but at the same time letting you see... Oh, it looks like I need to put the leg on first. Because there's a space. So we don't want a space. Let's put this right there. Okay, there's a couple peg holes. And that fits really nice. And you can see the bone and the muscle. Very awesome. I love that. I guess we should do the same with this one. Uh, there's no pegs on this one. There's a little hole right there. But this is smooth. So I'm just going to have to kind of hold it in place, I think. I hope it doesn't fall. And I'm going to try to put this on while holding the arm. Alright, so there's little pegs all the way around. There's here's one. I'm going to try to line all those up. Okay, I think the arm just fell off. Not the one I'm holding, but the other one. Starting at the tail. Okay, maybe I should not start the tail. Okay, we'll leave this separate for a second. Let's put the body part on so I don't have to keep holding the arm. Okay, it looks like the mouth is coming apart a little bit. Maybe not. Yeah, this arm is kind of a problem. It doesn't really have anything to keep it attached so that I can see. Okay, we've got a little peg right here. Try to squeeze it. Okay, let's try it on this side. This is not the easiest thing to do. So you might need help with this if you haven't put together a lot of plastic type of models that don't need glue. Trying to get all the pegs in. Okay, so uh, this one. So you put them in and then they kind of come out when you're working on another part. There's a little peg at the end that goes kind of into the tail. There we go. Alright, so that that's a good, really good peg because that one holds it in really good. And while that's being held in, you can kind of squeeze the rest together. It's still a little bit loose right here. But basically it's staying. The arm hasn't fallen off yet on this side. The face part is just a little bit loose. Let's see if we can get that in there. Okay, and then, oops, camera cord. And here's the other arm. Put that back on. And I think we are done. Okay, so we have one anatomy model of a velociraptor. Very awesome. I love this thing. Here's the tail. Here's the top down view. And the bottom. Here's the other side again with all the arms and legs attached. Very beautiful. Okay, and here is the stand. Let's see, does it go in this way or the other way? I think you could put it either way you want. So let's start with this direction. Okay, where's the other hole? Okay, so if you want to display it 
like this. You can. But she's facing kind of the wrong way. So I would suggest putting it this way because then you can see that it's an anatomy model instead of just a regular Velociraptor. And here's what it looks like facing the other direction, which I think is much nicer because you can see this is the front of the base and this is the way the dinosaur is kind of meant to look because you can see all the parts inside it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see when I put out new videos. I've got other dinosaur videos and other types of videos also that are not dinosaurs. Check out my older videos and thanks for watching. Bye!